Hi, this is part 19 of the revision lecture series on arbitration. In this video, we are going to discuss whether or not the timing of the conclusion of the arbitration agreement is important. And in case you haven't watched the earlier video, that is the one before this one, I would like to remind you that in that video, we were talking about the fact that an arbitration agreement may pertain to differences that our current or present differences or it may pertain to future differences so obviously this creates the possibility that an arbitration agreement may be concluded between two parties even though there are no present disputes between them and like I said in the previous video I've already talked about um, this particular situation as well as discussed uh, examples relating to present as well as future differences and in this video, uh, which is going to be a very short one, by the way, I'm just going to comment very briefly about the fact that what follows from the discussion that we had about present or future differences is that the timing of the agreement, that is the timing when the arbitration agreement is concluded, is not important. Why? Because the Act, that is the Arbitration Act 1940, provides for arbitration in the presence of an arbitration agreement between the parties, of course. So the presence of the agreement is, of course, important. However, the existence of a pre-agreed written agree arbitration agreement is crucial. That is, what we have to remember is that there has to be a pre-agreed written arbitration agreement and this requirement does not mean that if a difference that is if, if a dispute arises between two parties before an agreement has been concluded then in that situation what they can simply do is that before referring the matter to arbitration they can conclude a written arbitration agreement right there and then and then this is going to be the pre-agreed written arbitration agreement which is going to be providing the foundation for the arbitration proceedings between the two parties and the arbitrator so in short the written agreement can be concluded between the parties either before a dispute has arisen that is the pre-agreed arbitration agreement was concluded even before a dispute uh, between the two parties erupted or after a dispute has arisen that is the agreement may be drafted even after a dispute has arisen between the parties so that kind of uh, situation which involves uh, an arbitration agreement being drafted and concluded after a dispute has arisen is going to be as valid as an agreement that has been concluded before any dispute arises between the two parties so in short the timing is not important at all so when you read the requirement that the existence of a prior that is a pre-agreed written arbitration agreement is essential just remember that what this means is that there has to be a written agreement in existence before you refer the matter to arbitration that is before you can start the arbitration proceedings but this does not mean that you cannot enter into an arbitration agreement after a dispute has arisen between you and another party so the timing is once again not important you can enter into an arbitration agreement whenever you feel that you need to refer a certain matter to an arbitrator and it's not going to be important that you concluded that agreement after the dispute arose between you and the other party for those of you who are still not clear about this let me provide you a practical example so that it would become clear so one possible situation that is scenario a the situation is for example that you and another party have entered into a contract regarding the sale of certain goods and you and the other party have no disputes at all between the two of you so in this kind of situation you feel that there is no need for any sort of arbitration agreement however later when the performance of the contract is being carried out basically what happens is that some sort of a dispute arises let's say you're not satisfied with the quality of the goods or let's say that you're, you're not satisfied with the color maybe you were hoping or expecting for a different shade and then a dispute arises between you and the other party with whom you have the contract now in this situation there is no prior that is there is no pre-agreed written arbitration agreement between the two parties right so this is the typical scenario the typical example that i'm trying to make you understand which is that even after the after a dispute arises between two parties you can then conclude a written arbitration 
arbitration agreement and then you can refer the matter to arbitration so in this kind of situation it's not important it's irrelevant that the arbitration agreement was concluded after the dispute arose between you and the other party and not initially at the time of concluding the contract for the sale of goods between these two parties However, of course, the ideal situation is that while entering into any contract, like I talked about in the previous video, that the ideal situation scenario would be that whenever you enter into a contract with another party, if you want to avoid court proceedings and litigation, then in that situation, the best way forward is that in the contract that you enter with the other party regarding the sale or supply of goods or services, whatever the contract is about, then the best idea is is to include an arbitration agreement within that contract with that contract so that even before any dispute has arisen even though at that time when you are entering into the contract everything seems perfectly fine and you don't feel the need for any sort of arbitration agreement but you should keep in mind that a dispute may possibly arise at some time in the future so even though presently there is no dispute but keeping in mind that a dispute may arise at any time because um, obviously disputes do arise between two parties so in the, uh, keeping that in mind it's best that you include an arbitration agreement or at least an arbitration clause within your contract so that this is going to be providing a safeguard that is you will uh, be avoiding the possibility of ever going to court because you have already catered for the situation where a dispute does arise and you already have entered into a prior that is a pre-agreed arbitration agreement even before any dispute has arisen between you and the other party. So this is the end of this video. I hope you are clear about the fact that the timing of the conclusion of the arbitration agreement is not important. However, what is important is that you have to have an arbitration agreement before you can begin arbitration proceedings with an arbitrator. So so before you can refer the matter to an arbitrator, there has to be an arbitration agreement in place and it does not matter whether that arbitration agreement was drafted just before the dispute arises or after the dispute arises or long before the dispute had arisen. All of these facts, that is the time factor is irrelevant for the purposes of the arbitration agreement being considered as a valid one. So to conclude the video, let's say that I ask you a question that if two parties want to start arbitration proceedings, that is they want to refer a matter to an arbitrator, then in this situation, do you think that they can proceed and go ahead with these proceedings if there is no prior, no pre-agreed written arbitration agreement between them? Please answer in the comments box below whether your answer is yes or no. So I hope you paused the video and thought about it and are able to see that the answer is going to be a big no, that no they can't because the requirement is that you have to have an arbitration agreement in place that is a valid arbitration agreement in writing to have been concluded before you can start any sort of arbitration proceedings, before the proceedings can start you have to have an agreement. Now in the next video, we're going to talk about the arbitration proceedings that take place with the intervention of the court.